2010, July 22nd, 2.09 p.m. We are looking at the piece of three quarter inch pipe retort we had yesterday in our barbecue doing some simple pyrolysis experiments of wood. On the left hand side you see some of the wood pellets that came out of that end of the tube. This was the closed end of the tube. You can see there's an awful lot of wood left here that was not pyrolyzed. So as we uh, empty it out here, see basically they're, uh, they're charred on the surface but there's a lot of wood in the center that has not been uh, pyrolyzed yet. Now there was an area in the middle of the retort which was getting direct exposure to the flames, direct flame impingement. And when you see the granules of the, uh, the wood uh, pellets there that were in that section, you can see much more substantial charring. You can see, like I said, towards one end, the cooler end of the tube, quite a few wood pellets that just haven't charred yet. Now as you go on the other end of the tube here, this is the end of the tube where all the gases had to pass through on their way out of the retort. So over here you also see uh, fairly good evidence of, uh, of pyrolysis. Not a whole lot left here except for char. But I can still tell just by picking up these pellets, there's a fair amount of uh, strength left to them. So for example, if I try to break one in half, yeah, you can see that one crumbles, and it looks like it's black all the way through. That's fairly well charred, but it seems like there's uh, probably a fair amount of wood material here that could have been pyrolyzed yet if we left it go longer. Now, when we aborted the experiment yesterday, we're still getting a fairly decent flow of gas out of it. And so that in itself was also good evidence that there's still a fair amount of pyrolysis left to go. So this is definitely incomplete, and we had it on the fire for over an hour. But we've got a fairly good uh, selection here of biochar, and then towards one end, the colder end of the tube, the capped end of the tube, we've got some pellets that are hardly, hardly charred at all. So not very good heat distribution throughout the tube. But all in all, um, it's a good experiment. Shows us what we need to know about uh, pyrolysis of wood in terms of doing it inside of a pipe. We're able to get some uh, good gases and uh, tars and oils out of the wood uh, pellets, and also some char once left over by emptying out the pipe. It looks like the pipe emptied out fairly well. Looking into the interior of the pipe, I don't see a lot of evidence of, uh, of material sticking to it. Looks like the pipe emptied out fairly clean. I was a bit concerned about that. I didn't know if perhaps we'd get wood pellets that would weld themselves in or glue themselves in with the pyrolysis oils or with the tar that was left behind. It looks like it was a very clean exit from the pipe. In fact, I just poured all these pellets out. I didn't have to scrape it or anything. So that itself is promising. If we end up making a retort system using iron pipe, it appears as though we'll be able to clean it out fairly easily at the end of each batch.